Hey folks, Zach Pope here, and today we're gonna to talk through how to create and customize personal markers, shapes, and other notes. One of the nice features of Trout Routes for both basic and pro members is that you can create and customize private markers and we're going to walk through how to do that now. So in your app or on the web app you'll see a bottom ribbon that has a plus that says create. You start by tapping that and you'll see a number of different options of things you can create and the second option is a marker option. At that point you see a small black bullseye in the middle of the screen and you'll just pan the map until that bullseye is where you want to create that marker. Once you're ready, you hit the create button on the bottom right, and then you can see a dialog where you can customize that marker however you'd like. So in this case, we'll just create favorite marker along the stream. You can customize the icon, so it can be fully exactly what you want, and then you can actually add photos as well as type in any notes that you'd like as well. So we'll do that now. And when you're done, you can hit return and save. And at that point, that marker is now saved for yourself and yourself only. And it's available both online and offline. And so this is one of the many ways that you can customize your own maps for your own use. And you can refer back to those spots in the future. If you ever wanna edit that marker, you can always tap that marker, see information about it, and then hit the edit button. And that's how you can actually edit that marker. The last thing is if you ever wanna get directions or share that with a friend, uh, directly via text, you can do that via directions, as well as sharing directly via text or email with a friend. Next, I'm gonna walk through how to create and customize your own line shapes. So to do that, we're gonna start off by hitting that same create button in the middle. And the third one in is gonna be for custom lines. And in this case, you're gonna take that bullseye and put it where you wanna start the line, and then you simply hit the add button. Now, as you move the cursor, you'll see that you can actually measure the distance as you're creating the line, which is kind of a nice measurement tool. But we'll go ahead and create another vertice over here, another one here, another one here, and just for demonstration purposes, we'll stop there. And when you're ready to finish the line, you hit the create button, and this is the dialogue where you can customize that line however you'd like. You can change the color, you can change the line width, as well as the line uh, dash line. And you can create the title, we'll just say hiking trail to the bend. And at the very end, you can create notes as well as add pictures. So here we'll just say rugged trail, four wheel only. Hit the save button. And now that shape is available to you, again, offline, online, and as well across all devices. If you wanna look at that line and see information about it, you can tap at it and edit as well. Came back in April. And just like that, you can create, customize, and edit lines. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to create and customize full shapes. Now you might wanna do this to mark off a specific area that has either a marshy or a different type of land cover. You might wanna mark off a specific property line that you know that you have access to. There's many reasons on why you may wanna customize your map with your own polygons and shapes, and now we'll show you how to do that. So for this, once again, we're gonna hit that Create button and go down to the last option, which is a new shape. And the same thing, you're gonna take that bullseye and start drawing out the polygon however you'd like. Do this now. And once you're done, you'll hit the create button and the same dialogue will show up and it'll allow you to customize uh, quite a bit. You can change the title, you can change the color of the fill, the color of the line, the thickness of the line, as well as the dash type of the line around it. You can also change the opacity. So these shapes can be exactly however you'd like and you can customize these maps to your heart's content.
When you're finished, you can hit the save button. And once again, this shape is now available to you across all devices, online and offline. Thanks so much for tuning in and let us know if you have any questions or ideas for future development.